welcome to the Nostromo. This will be a playthrough through the first scenario, the first film, uh, The Legendary Encounters, the Nostromo Alien 1. It's no tutorial, no rule explanation, just a straight playthrough. I'll play in solo with two characters. And let's start right away. The first character I chose, that's the medic. Never go without the medic. Um, the medic card is already in his deck, so I will shuffle it. That's the starting deck, the medic on the right side. Left character, I will choose a random. These are all the character cards. Let's see who will join us to fight the beasts. It's the mercenary. That's a good character. So, he will be put into this deck. And just as a reminder, I made these little tokens. He has a strength symbol. I just want to keep track of who's collecting which cards. So these are two our two characters, the mercenary on the left side, the medic on the right side. We have the sergeants, sergeant deck. We have our four characters of the movie, Ripley, Lambert, Parker and Dallas in the barracks. Shuffle, shuffle. Some wounds, which we don't want to see very often, hopefully. This is the drone deck, all the drone cards, and since we're playing with two players, there are two cards in each of the three hive decks. This is hive deck, oops, number three. Hive deck number two. Deck number one. By the way, this is my third recording. The first recording stopped after an hour and I didn't realize, so I will check the camera more often. And the second one, well, I just died or got impregnated by a face hugger within the first three turns. But that's how it can end. We need to fill up the headquarter with five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And each character. Two, three, four, five, six. Draws the six cards. Three, four, five, six. That's the character's hand. And let's check the camera for a second. It's rolling. So let's start with mercenary. The mercenary's turn. First, we have an unknown signal in the ventilation shafts. The mercenary plays his special card, his character card, or his roll card. And um, this turn. His special ability is he may spend recruit points as if they were attack points, if he wants to. He has four attack points anyway, so he will straight away use them to scan the ventilation shafts. And we have an event. The event says it's the rough landing, the rough landing on the planet. You and the next player each draw a strike. So, first turn, first strike. It's a contaminated wound, which cannot be healed. And another strike for the medic. That's contaminated gash. Two wounds that cannot be healed. Ouch! Two recruit points, nothing to recruit for two points, so that's the mercenary's turn. One, two, three, four, five, six new cards. Let's go. This went discarded. Let's go to the medic. Medic's turn. 
to another unknown signal in the ventilation shaft. And he has two attack points, which doesn't do any, don't do anything. He cannot scan. There's nothing to attack. But four uh, recruit points. And wow, there are tons of expensive cards here. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. For four, he will take Captain Dallas, the captain of the ship. And just as a reminder, he's bought a leadership card and needs leadership, so maybe he can focus more on leadership. That was a four point card, and here's another Dallas card. Discard one, two, three, four, five, six. The mercenary's turn. Things are crawling along to the power station, and he has one, in words, one attack and six recruit points four six oh sorry five for five he will buy the dallas card for two that's an intel card i'm not placing these um each turn each buy but just to to as a reminder where the majority of those uh, symbols are so that's two plus, well, another expensive card. Plus another three, I'll buy a sergeant. Here he buys a sergeant, which is a strength sergeant. That's okay. That's cool. Sergeant. Problem is there are six, 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 seven cost cards. The medic turn. The medic's turn. The medic plays his medic card. He can draw another card, and he may heal a strike from any player. But there's all unhealable strikes. He has. 2, 3 attack, and with this 3 attack he examines the power station. This is an egg. The egg does not move or strike um, and has a strength of 3, but um, if I draw another event, this, its kill and face hugger is put in front of the character. And we don't want to have this. So, for three recruit points, there's nothing to buy except for a sergeant. And that's a tech sergeant. Okay. That's this. Mercenary's turn. This card moves over here. The egg doesn't move, so we go like this. And we would need three attack to destroy the egg, but we don't have it. We only have one attack. But one, two, three, four, five, six um, recruit points. And so we could either buy. Lambert or Ripley. I want to save the um, survival icons for the medic. So I will buy, mercenary will buy the Lambert card. And it has another Intel icon, which is great. Okay. 
that quarter fills up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to the medic. And so getting closer and we st <laughs> still don't have enough to fight them. Wow, that's embarrassing. So he has two attack points. And with these two attack points, he will scan the med lab. And there's the part of the SOS. The first part of the SOS is move to the operations, and that's one half of the, our first objective. And then we have one, two, three, four, five recruit points. And. Um, Let's go for the Karantan Kai, which is another leadership icon. And hmm, three left. So that's another Sash. Sash with a leadership icon. Okay, things are working out pretty well. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Back to the mercenary. Mercenary's turn. Complex is full. He'll play his character card. He draws a card. He plays the Captain Della's You Have Your Orders card. I can look at the top two cards of the deck and decide which one to keep on top and which one to put on the bottom. And there's this awesome Lambert card, which is very expensive, but I want to keep this on top. And then I have two attack and five recruit. And the mercenary can use recruit as attack. So First step is these three, this one recruit is an attack, three to kill the egg, to destroy the egg. And then I have another four recruit points. Do I want to use them? Okay, I use two of them for another Have Your Orders card, another Intel card, and two of them to scan the med lab. And this is another egg. One, two. Three, four, five, six. The medic's turn. The medic, he has his medic card. You draw another card, there's nothing to heal for him. He has three attack, which lets him destroy the egg. And three recruit points. Oh, come on! It's very rare that there are so, so many so expensive cards here, so we need another Sarge with an intel. Icon, and that's his whole turn. One, oops, I dropped the card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, coordinate card. First coordinate card. So, mercenary turn. The complex fills up. The mercenary has four, four attack points. So, he will scan the mad lab. And it's a hazard. The hazard says 
brought something back. Add two hive cards to the complex. Now things are getting rough. First hive card. An event. The event says you and the next player draw a strike. This is a damaged hand and a double slash with one wound and I have to draw another card for two wounds. I'll keep this card as a reminder here. This is an effect for the next turn. So that's the first card and that's the second one to add to the combat zone. Oh, I did, I'm sorry, this was wrong. Add two hive cards to the complex. So, okay, it was a mistake, but well, it added wounds, so I think I'll just stick with it and add the second card to the complex. That's how it's meant to be. Okay, that was the first scan, and for another two, you will scan the Mad Lab again. And that's a middlesome xenomorph with a strength of four. Two recruit points and I'm not sure if I should coordinate the Sarge here for another two recruit points because I don't want the mercenary to buy this card because it is a leadership card. So no, he cannot buy anything with this dice here. It was another hand of cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. With another coordinate card. I put this as a reminder on top of it. The medic's turn. This card moves down and let's see what entered the combat zone. It is a camouflage xenomorph with strength of 3 which cannot be fought this turn. So let's start here. The medic plays his character card and draws another card. Then he'll play the quarantine card. He can look at the top of the deck and decide to kill, keep the character or kill it, I will kill it. And um, we have the captain of the ship, which triggers because I already played a leadership card, so this is uh, four attack points plus one is five. I cannot kill this one this turn, but with five. I can kill this Xenomorph and when it dies I may scan any room. And I want to scan the room, the ventilation shaft. Oh, and it's a skittering Xenomorph which at the end of the turn is placed face down again, turned face down again. Then I got six recruit points and for the six recruit points, I will draw a lucky star card, which is another survival card. <laughs> another expensive card. But I hope we can get all these in the deck. Oh, and I did play my medic, right? So I could have healed one strike card. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I forgot that this guy strikes. So I healed this one, and at the end of the turn, the Xenomorph strikes, and it's <laughs> the same card I just healed. So he's already at five wounds. We need to heal some more. Back to the mercenary. He has his damage hand. At the start of your turn, discard this card and two random cards from your hand. So I just shuffle up the hand and draw one card. It's the Dallas card and the specialist. At the 
beginning of the turn. These cars move. This one was turned down. And the mercenary special card. His carrot is roll card. Let's him draw another card. And he'll play Lambert. She has three attack and can kill the Xenomorph here. And now I can decide if I want to use some of these recruit points. Okay, first I'll play the Captain Dallas card to look at two cards of the barracks deck. There's another, another very, very expensive card. So I have to go for recruit points first. But I cannot put this on the bottom of the deck. That's the most powerful card. So I keep this on the top of the deck. And now I can decide if I want to use recruit points as recruit points or as attack points. I will use three recruit points for another Sarge, an Intel Sarge, that's cool, and two recruit points as attack points to scan the med lab, which is the second part of the SOS. So we found the SOS, that's cool, that's the first objective, and we move on to the second objective. No one can hear you scream block the ventilation shaft. It draws back to one, two, three, four. Five, six. The medic's turn. The complex fills up. And we just have you know like the normal regular grunts and specialists, a text strength of three that scan uh, the power station and that's the second hazard. That was fast. The second hazard says it's loose. Put the top card of the hive into the combat zone. Now it's into the combat zone. Let's see what we have here. <sighs> An event. The event is people are disappearing. The next player discards two random cards from their hand. And the next player is the mercenary. And he discards one, two cards. That's a grunt and a specialist. So it would be a pretty useless tournament for him. That was this three attack, and now you got three recruit points. <sighs> I need another Sarge. Usually I don't buy that many Sarge, but um, they all give two recruit points, and we have like four, six, six, seven, seven cost. That's a lot. That's all very expensive. Two, three, four. Five, six, and let me check the camera for a second. Still running. Mercenary's turn. Well, not much left here. Same procedure. Ah, there's a as a coordinate card. <sighs> okay, he has one attack, he cannot do anything with it, and he has three recruit. With the coordinate, he could buy the Captain Dallas card, but it's a it's a leadership card. And I already have like four leadership icons in, in the medic stack, so he will not buy it. He'll buy another sergeant with a strength icon, which is great because he has strength. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. Mercen uh, Medic's turn. This card moves down here. And it is another egg. And the medic has two grunts, which is exactly to attack. But but I think the mercenary will coordinate Lambert for three more attack. So he has five attack right now. 3 attack, he'll use to destroy the egg, and then he has 2 left to scan the med lab. And it's the scattering xenomorph again, which is turned face down at the end of his turn. He has 6 recruit points, this is great. He'll buy another lucky star card. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one fills up, and at the end of the turn, this xenomorph turns face down. I just shift him down a bit to remember this is the one. Mercenary's turn. This card moves down. And we have another egg. He'll play his roll card to draw another card. And now he has three attack, and he'll use the three attack to destroy the egg. And He'll use another, oh, first he'll play this card, the Captain Dallas card, which allows him to look at the top two cards. Mm. And that's a heal card. That's a heal card, the first eight card. He'll leave on top of the deck. Then he used the two recruit points as attack points to scan the Mad Lab. And that's a camouflaged Xenomorph with Strength 3, which cannot be fought this turn. And he don't want, doesn't want to buy anything, so the next 3 recruit points will be attack points too. And he'll scan the power station. And that's another of those uh, skittering Xenomorphs that are turn face down at the end of the turn. It's the end of the turn, so this one is faced. Faced place down, mm -hmm. placed face down. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, the medic's turn. What a surprise! Here we got the little bastard. And the medic has four attack points. And well, that's enough to kill the Skitter and Xenomorph. And he has three. Recruit points. The mercenary could coordinate another two recruit points, and he'd, he'd still have seven left. Six, seven. That's cool. So he'll recruit, he'll coordinate a pawn, the sergeant, for another two recruit points. He'll draw another card. And um, now the medic has five recruit points and he will recruit the captain of the ship for four. That's it. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Mercenary's turn. Camouflaged. Xenomorph moves down. Is not camouflaged anymore. He can be attacked, but he doesn't have any attack points. Only recruit points. But that's what we were looking for, actually, to buy these uh, very expensive cards. We have Captain Dallas. Look at the top two cards. And of course, I'll keep the first aid card. And we have the same card again. I can do the same again, but still I want to keep the first aid card. And now, this is six, seven, eight, nine recruit points. So for seven, he'll recruit. Hmm, that's a great card too, but he recruited Lambert, and he has two left, and he will not buy anything for two, let me check, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Oh, and he didn't kill the Xenomorph, so he'll take a wound. That's three. That's a brutal puncture. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the Medic. Another card moves down. It's getting dangerous here. It is an event. Which says... People are disappearing. Two random. The next player discards two random cards from his hand. That's one. A specialist. Two. A grunt. Okay, the medic. First, he will play his quarantine card. He can. Reveal the top card and decide to discard it or put it back. Since it's the roll card, he will keep it. Um, then we have Ripley, avoid the next strike. And that's it. Four attack points, that's enough to kill the Xenomorph. And six points to recruit. And I'll go for the two, one first aid card and another first aid card. One. Two, three, four, five, six. The mercenary's turn starts with the complex filling up and pushing the card into the combat zone, which is the skittering xenomorph. He'll play his roll card and draws another card. He has three attack, kills the xenomorph. One recruit, that's not very, very much. Two, six. Does the mercenary want to coordinate for three? No, that's, that's useless. So that's, that was a fast turn. Two, three, four, five. Okay, the mercenary now has three coordinate cards, two for um, recruit and one for attack. Let's see, it's the medic's turn. And we have another skittering xenomorph here. And first the medic will play his roll card to draw another card. And 
heal a strike from a player, he will heal. <laughs> He will heal the deep gash because you already have five wounds. And then he has two attack, which is not enough to kill the skitter and xenomorph. So the mercenary will help out by coordinating this card. So he has five attack, three to kill this guy this beast and two to scan the med lab. Ouch, it's a middlesome xenomorph with a strength of four. No strength left here, she's discarded and six recruit points and I think he will go for Lambert. Mercenary's turn. The mercenary's turn. Another card to the drop zone. There is Jonesy. Oh, too bad. If Jonesy is in the complex, choose a player to gain him, otherwise kill him. So we waited too long, and poor Jonesy the cat was killed in the combat zone. So. What do we have here? We have Lambert, who lets us draw three cards. This card is awesome. One, two, three. We have Dallas, to look at the top two cards and decide which one to keep. That's the Lambert card that I want to keep. And the same procedure again. We have a Lambert card and a... Hmm, Dallas attack card, both very good. And tough decision. I will go for the Dallas attack card because we need more attack. Then he has exactly one attack, which is useless at the moment, and a lot of recruit points. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So I hope we, we can leave this card <laughs> for the medic because it's a survival card. But actually it doesn't need a survival icon. Okay, let's go this way. 12 for 7. He'll take... It's a damn robot, Parker. So, it's 5 left. And for 4, he'll take Repair the Ship. Another Parker card. And so he started to collect tech cards. Tech icons too. Okay, great move. Two, three, four, five, six. The medic's turn. The xenomorph moves down here. And let's see, unfortunately. Dallas ability cannot trigger. So, I'll play Dallas first. I'll play You're My Lucky Star, Ripley. She can avoid the next strike. Another of the same card, she can avoid the next strike. She has the survival icon, which triggers the first aid ability. You may heal a strike from any player. That's the three wounds strike here. And this is it. We have eight attack. 
4 to kill the Xenomorph and when it's killed you can scan any room. I'll scan this room. And that's a Cornet Scientist. And for 3, so now we're at 7, I'll kill this alien. And when it dies, choose any number of players to each draw a card. So he can draw another card, and the medic can draw another card. And it's another first aid card. And I have one attack left, which I cannot use. And now I have six recruit points. And for six recruit points, I want to take, of course, another Dallas and the quarantine procedure. Let's get discarded. Another one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna check the camera again. Still on. Great. And it's the mercenary's turn. He plays his roll card and draws a card. He has a strength, he needs strength cards. Well, he just bought some. A strength of two, and he'll use it to scan the med lab. And that's one of those nasty shedding skins, you know, more of the strength four but plus three if they're in the combat zone. So I will use... Four, five. I will use the recruit points as, as attack points to kill this right away. Now I wish I could get rid of all those starting cards, but it's not that easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. No card. Oh, a coordinate card with strength four. That would be cool. Let's see. The medic's turn. The complex fills up, and. The medic will play the quarantine procedure to look at the top card, it's a grunt and he'll kill him. Then he'll play captain of the ship and now since this has a leadership icon it triggers and has four instead of one, uh, instead of two attack. And that's a total of four, five, six attack. So let's start here. For two attack I'll scan. And it's another Shedding Skin Xenomorph, and for the other four attack, it didn't last very long. Three recruit points, nothing to recruit for three, I guess we have enough sergeant in the deck. Seven sergeants in the deck, so I don't, I don't want to recruit anything. Or any one. One, two, there are the sergeants. Mercenary's turn. First thing he does is place his roll card. And this is only attack. Only attacks. This is nine attacks. One, two, three, four, five plus four is nine. So let's start with two attacks scanning the med lab and 
another four to kill the next shitting xenomorph. That's pretty lucky. And another three, and for another three I'll scan the power station. Ooh, twin mouth xenomorph. Six, six strength and double strike. Okay, I want to save the coordinate for something else. So, one strength is kind of lost. Oh no, he has four strength. So, for four strength, he can scan. He scans the ventilation shaft and finds a lance tail xenomorph. Strength of seven. Then he will recruit with 2, 4, 6 plus 2 coordinated from the mercenary, which is a total of 8. And this is for the last survivor of the Nostromo card, Ripley. 5 attack and avoid all strikes you, could, you would draw this turn. That's a great card. That's the medic's turn. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. And now to the mercenary. The mercenary's turn starts like this. And well, now the really strong Xenomorphs show up. This is the ventilation seal. So that's part of our second objective. This one gets attached to the ventilation shafts and while this room is clear, and this is a problem to get it clear, um, we have to pay two recruit points, discard, discard and block the room and that's the second objective. I'll place it up here. So let's see what we can do. We have exactly three strength. That's not very much and nothing to coordinate. Again, we have Captain Dallas looking through the barracks. And we keep the first aid card on top of the deck. And the same card again. Hmm. That's a pretty expensive card, costs 9 and you can gain any character in the head headquarter to, the, to your hand. Yeah, let's try, I never tried this, but we have so many recruit points in here, so maybe it works out. Okay, with the 3 attack points I'll scan the weapon locker, and that's Ash. Oh my god, Ash the robot. He cannot be killed unless another player coordinates uh, strength this turn. So, and he has a strength of 8. Okay, recruit 2, 4, 6, 8. 4, 8. Let's start with another repair the ship card. Hmm. I want to leave these two cards for the medic because of their icons. So that's another repair the ship card. Four, five, six. 
So, okay, now it's getting really tough with all those strong characters, not characters, beasts, enemies, aliens and robots in the complex. We start with the medic, this card moves down, and we have to scan this, the, the, the airlock, no, not the, the ventilation shaft, try to remove the card and then seal the airlock. This is really a tough one. Let's see what's in the combat zone. We have a lance tail xenomorph. Strikes from this enemy, from enemies cannot be avoided as long as he's in the zone. It's in the zone. Let's see what we have here. We have quarantine procedure, draw the top card, and that's a new card. I want to leave it on top of the deck. Heal a strike. I want to heal a strike. I'm playing Dallas, and his ability is triggered, so he's uh, 4 attack for a total of 4 5 attack, which is not enough. Nothing to coordinate here. No attack to coordinate. So with 5, no, sorry, no, it's 5 attack, yes. With 5 attack, he can only scan. He just scans the ventilation seal. And that's an event. The next player discards two cards from their hand. Random cards. That's bad, but it helps. One, two, okay. Not the important cards. That's the scan, because now for two recruit points the medic can seal the ventilation shaft. So second objective achieved. This card goes here as a reminder. Ventilation is sealed but the whole draw stack now moves to the ventilation which makes the complex shorter. Got another three recruit points and nothing I want to recruit for four, three, so I won't recruit anything. And at the end of my turn, this enemy strikes the medic with two. A deep gash. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mercenary with only four cards. Now this is getting tough here. Oh, I already <laughs> pulled off this card, okay. Okay, we have two really tough aliens in there. And this one gives double strikes. So the first thing I gonna do, the mercenary is gonna do, is draw three cards. One, two. Just drop the card. Three. <laughs> uh oh. It's getting close here. Just recruit cards. Then I play Repair the Ship. And you draw a new hand at the end of your turn, and the power station is clear. You could draw another card, but that's not the case. I got Two attack cards, nothing to coordinate, uh, two attack points, so I cannot do anything. And four, five recruit points for, I guess he'll take an attack coordinate card. We might need it. End of the turn, three strike cards. One from the lance tail, which is a five massive blow, six in total, and two for the double strike. One flash wound, two another flash wound. So he's at eight and he can take eleven. Three, four, five, six. 
Okay. Things are getting tough here. The medic's turn. Ash. We'll move down. But we have a coordinate, two coordinate strength cards. Getting better. And this is a card that kills Ash. Great. Five, six. Okay. I think this is going to be a good turn. Parenting procedure, look at the top card, I want to keep it. Um, Captain Dallas will trigger his ability for 4 attack. A lucky star, she will trigger, Ripley will trigger her ability and avoid the next strike she has to draw. And First aid will heal a wound from a player. This is of course the massive blow, not a wound, a strike of course. Okay, now the mercenary will coordinate this card. And it says it has strength 4, attack, 4 attack points. And the next time you fight a synthetic, which is Ash, this turn it gets minus four. So he's at four. With four, he's going to kill. Die, guy. That's this card. And then there are still five, eight points left. And for six of the points, I kill the twin mouse xenomorph. And for two, I will scan the med lab. Ooh, another lance tail. Then I can buy cards, then I can recruit for five. And I recruit I recruit another captain of a ship card. The Xenomorph strikes, but I can avoid the strike through this card. But at least this clean up bit. Four, five, six. Mercenary's turn. So no more of moves down. Another one enters the complex. And here we go. Same procedure, look at the two, uh, top two cards. <laughs> Once again, look at the top two cards. Oh, another coordinate card, that's great. Coordinate with free strength. So, I'll put it on top. Then we have Parker. And we have Lambert. And a total strength of 5, but the medic will coordinate his card, which gives another 3. So this is 8 now. Strength of 8 kills the man's tail Xenomorph. Oh, wait, this was a coordinated card, it belongs to him. And we have seven recruit points for another electric prod. That's is five, and the two recruit points are lost. That's okay. Then the xenomorph strikes and deals. Well, no wound, it's a fallen friend card. I'll explain this next turn. Two, three, four, five, six. Just as a reminder. Okay, the medic. Still two lens tails, you know, morphs. The medic can play his roll card to 
draw another card. I need to shuffle the deck. Let me play this here. Draws another card. Yes! Last survivor of the Nostromo. That's the one I needed. Then the sergeant plays and triggers the ability of the captain of the ship for four. Then we have the last survivor. This is four plus five he is uh, nine, ten, e eleven. Eleven attack. Seven, four remain, and before I will use two to scan the med lab. That's the perfect organism, that's our last objective. But the perf perfect organism can only be killed in the airlock and if the airlock controls are attached to that room, and we have to find the controls. That's why we use the last two attack points to scan the airlock and it's another twin mouth double strike alien okay now the lance tail strikes two six out of ten hoping for some healing cards one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's see. Now this fallen friend triggers. At the start of your turn, discard this and kill a random and kill a random character in your hand that costs one or more. Kill is bad, but wait a second. That's the sergeant. It's the only one that costs one or more. Sergeant is there. Start of the turn. The xenomorph moves down to the combat zone. And the perfect organism is coming closer. The mercenary draws a card. And. Four attack points and one recruit point, which he could use as an attack point. Let's start with two attack points to scan the med lab. That's a hazard. Oh my god, now this starts. Okay, this hazard stays here. It's the third one, and it is the self destruct. Leave the hazard card face up where it was revealed. It moves like an enemy. If it reaches the control zone, discard it and each player draws three strikes. So this is the self-destruct mechanism. To disarm it, we need to pay eight recruit points. Good luck with this one. And I do have another three attack points left, so I scan the power station. And that's another twin mouse xenomorph. And now it's end of the turn, and these two xenomorphs attack, and this is a single and a double strike. Okay, the single strike is broken morale, something for next turn. Double strike is somebody help. This is a four a strike with four. And when you draw this card, and any other player may show a survival icon card to cancel it, and unfortunately there is no survival icon card. So, as you see here, the second card from Double Strike is a Flash Wound. We are at 8 
Okay. Camera check. Great. The medic's turn. The perfect organism. The boss monster moves down here. Ouch. And we have a quarantine procedure at first. That's a specialist, I'm not killing him. Then I have... Oh, I did have a coordinate card. I could have helped this guy. Well, too late. Four, five, six, and the Captain Dallas ability triggers, so it's eight. Eight strength, and this has to be the twin mouth guy for six because he deals double damage, and for the other two, I'll scan the med lab, and there's an acid spray xenomorph. Okay. Four points to recruit, but the mercenary will coordinate the Sarge for another two, that's six, so he will buy another Lambert card. And now Perfect Organism is a double strike as well, so the Medic draws three strikes. That could be the end. One, two wounds that cannot be healed. We are at eight, ten. The second one, flesh wound, nine out of ten. And contaminated wound. Dead. Or make that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Our medic just died. And this is pretty bad because he's the one who has all the heal cards. So I don't expect this game to last very long. Especially because the self destruct mechanism now detonates. Okay, it's the mercenary's turn. He has the broken morale. At the start of your turn, discard this and all characters with the United States Colony Marines icons. These are those. And then, at the start of the turn, this one moves down and the self-destruct detonates, dealing three damage cards. So he can take 11 in total. He is at 8. First card, 0. Second card, 2. He's at 10. Third card, 11. So, the crew died and this mean Perfect organism, enemy, alien, bastard, beast, survived. Anyway, I hope you had fun. I think I'm going to do this with the next missions as well. And if you found some mistakes I made, I made leave them in the comments. And see you next time around. Bye.